Hi, I'm Natalie Nathan and this is Artnet TV. I'm about to head over to Chelsea to Mike Weiss Gallery where Herman Nitsch, who is one of the founders of Viennese Actionism, will be performing his first live action painting in the U.S. Viennese Actionism was a very violent, short-lived movement um, and Nietzsche in particular is well known for his orgiastic mystery theater. Nietzsche and his cast staged about 100 performances that juxtaposed their bodies and blood and entrails with religious icons such as staged crucifixions. Here I am with Mike Weiss of Mike Weiss Gallery. Hi. So before there was performance art, before there was a Conchi and Schneeman and any of that stuff, there were the actions. They really paved the way for all these other things. That's the idea. This is the first action painting that has ever taken place in the United States. Right? Yes, uh, absolutely. So you know, the whole aspect of it is, is very interesting. It's performance and uh, action painting and it, at the same time it's really quite unique. The paintings aren't the art, the action is the art. Right. The paintings, the robes are relics. There's two different sizes. There's an each size, uh -huh. and then there's the size. <laughs> that one's a little bit wider. I'm still working with, uh, with investors, mm -hmm. with me, and, and that's my theater. Mm -hmm. And what you see here is, is a part of my theater. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the action painting, and that's, uh, I would say, the basic of my mm -hmm. Canvases have been laid. Yes, uh, 18 foot canvases that mm -hmm. we just had brought in for the second day. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, what will happen here is he'll do first uh, the action that's more of a, uh, a throwing paint and uh, more wet, and then usually goes to more kind of opaque paint. Mm -hmm. He makes all his paint uh, by hand. Mm -hmm. He uses giant mixers and everything but the raw pigments. So it's really. You're seeing everything being done. Now, what about this transition from working in blood and animal intestines and these things you've worked in in the past, and now you work in paint? How does that, how does that transition? And Nietzsche all the time talks about uh, himself almost, or an artist as a religious figure in a way. Right. So he, he says he talks about taking his hands, putting it into the earth, right? Mm -hmm. Coming up and putting it on himself, right? Mm -hmm. And so you see this in the shirts that, in the shirts that, uh, that, that they wear, uh, the gowns that people wear. Right? Mm -hmm. Almost has a, a ritual, right? A, has a ritualistic kind of aspect. And then those shirts, you know, get put into these, like, uh, crucifixions in right. a way, right? And it's almost as a stand-in for the human being. Right. And you see these tables also, uh, which have these priest robes, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, again, this is, has this kind of connection uh, to the kind of uh, almost artist as prophet kind of quality, but also the connection to uh, religion, which right. is very important for each work going back to the 50s. feel the, the body of Christ and you feel, I mean here you get both sides of life, you feel the fluids of the body, you feel the sun, the wheat field, uh, but there's also the feeling of the dark side of things, right. of the blood, almost like the footsteps become almost like cells in a way. 